Hey guys, it's Chelsea here and today we are going to be talking about what is in, what is the month? Uh, September? September is Boxy Charm. I feel like I do this every every single video because uh, time is just not stopping for anything. <laughs> um, September's Boxy Charm. Um, so last month uh, I went through and did a whole look with the whole entire box everything was cruelty free and unfortunately this time that is not the case just to throw it out there we've got the box that is called boxy batty um which is kind of cute so the first thing i'm going to talk about is um that comes in the box it is 18 dollars. it is eyebrows by mac um, I got the shade Lingering. Now, MAC tests on animals, so I'm, I'm not even going to use this. I'm just going to give it to somebody. Um, but that's the first thing that comes in the box uh, that I'm going to talk about. It's called it's $18, and it's just an eyebrow thing by MAC. Um, the next one, Studio Makeup Setting Powder. Now, I couldn't really find that much on Studio Makeup. I'll have to do a little bit more research. Um, it comes with a HD powder. <clears throat> it's lightweight. HD powder sets makeup with a flawless finish, suitable for all skin tones. I don't know if this has any kind of flashback. I haven't used it because I haven't found anything about it being cruelty free. So there's that. And this retails for $35. We have a brush duo by Bodyography Pro. They're both by Bodyography Pro. And actually, let me look it up real quick and see if they are cruelty free. Okay, so on bodyography.com and they're about us, the first thing that it says is cruelty free eco values. Um, so, and they have the cruelty free bunny. So they are cruelty free. Awesome. Um, so in the box I got um, perfect duo for lining and creating detailed eyeshadow looks. So I got a flat shader brush and an angled liner, which I should have used this to do my eyebrows because, I mean, let's be honest, angled eye uh, liner brushes can be used for both eyebrows and, um, and eyeliner, but whatever. I just used my Bobbi Brown, or not my Bobbi Brown, my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow um, brush for that. Hi, Bella. It's my little dog walking in the background. And both of these retail, I think the duo is $20. I'm assuming the duo is $20. Um, moving on. So the next thing that I got, and I don't, I can't remember if I already have this shade or not, <laughs> um, but it is a Color Pop Ultra Satin Lip, which I'm a huge fan of these, in the color Strut. Uh, it says high pigmentation and satin matte finish in liquid lipstick form to keep your lips soft and comfy all day. Now this, these are really comfortable for a liquid lipstick. The next one is by Pure, the Complexion Authority. I do believe Pure is cruelty free and they came out with a palette called the Soiree Diaries. I think that's how you see it. <laughs> um, this essential palette is filled with highly pigmented and silky smooth shadows. So I used um, one of the shadows in here, I used Epic for my eyebrows instead of the eyebrow uh, pencil. And I think it did a pretty good job. Also, I want to apologize for my eyebrows because they look like a thousand bags of dicks because I cheated on my eyebrow lady. Never cheat on your eyebrow lady, ever. <sighs> this retails for $34. Um, use the colors in vertical rows from top to bottom and highlight definition and drama. So you're getting two, four, six, eight mattes from what I, yeah, eight mattes and then four shimmery metallic like ones. Um, honestly, this whole row right here was the only row that actually kind of caught my attention because I feel like I already have all of these, 
but this would be a really good um, like starter you know starter um, palette for anyone but I personally have quite the collection going and I feel like I already have these so let's move on to the last item so this is a Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Now I have the heat protecting cream. So this looks like a like a sample almost because this is not a full size. Pretty sure everything in this is a full size except for this. And usually they have it down as full size, like whether or not it's full size. But anyway, um, I love the way that this smells. And it says an intensive weekly treatment to restore essential hydration and enhance hair's resilience to protect against future damage. So I'm a huge fan of the smell of this and a huge fan of this brand in particular and this line in particular. So this is a go for show. So really the only thing that I can't use in this in this whole thing is the MAC um, is the MAC brow thing which I might just give to a friend of mine who is starting her collection. I paid about $21 for this whole box and it, I mean just the eyeshadow palette itself is $34 so it already pays for herself. Um, Alright so let's dig in to this palette. Okay so I brought you guys in real close so we can start. I'm gonna put my Urban Decay's primer potion all over my eyes as usual. Still trying to figure out what I want to do with this look. I think I'm going to take Gala, which is this right here. And I'm going to go in with, I really need to just get over myself and get the color switch. Is that what it's called? Because every YouTuber has it and honestly, <laughs> just so much easier than trying to find a clean brush. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with Gala and I'm taking just this, I think it's a cover effects brush that I've had for like ever. And I'm gonna put this in the crease as a transition. I apologize um, about the background noise. Um, my boyfriend's making me coffee. And we're just gonna blend the shit out of this. It's actually a really nice mirror so it's not like one of those hella cheap ones that like don't work at all. So just a really light wash of color. And then I'm gonna go in with Mongol which is this color right here and I'm gonna put that on the brow bone because it's light. I'm probably gonna go in with something shimmery on top of it at some point but not right now. Okay, so now that we have Gala down, I'm going to go in with my Luxie 205, and I'm gonna go in with a little shade darker, which would be, you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna go balls to the wall in this. I'm gonna take Snazzy, which is this really, really dark color, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna finish this. I think I'm gonna do a halo. So I'm gonna go in with Snazzy, and we'll find out just how pigmented these really are, because Gala, is like a nice pretty wash but we'll really see how this works out with this one harder to blend than I thought okay so I'm gonna switch gears and go in with the flat shader brush and see if this helps at all and it does these are really nice brushes actually Cool. Fine. Whatever. So now I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna take, go back to my Luxie brush and I'm gonna blend this up just a little bit. I'm not being God, my dog is obnoxious. Come on, Bella, quiet. Dogs are crazy. Switching back to my flat shader. Packing it on. They're not the most pigmented, but they definitely like blend beautifully with each other, which 
is nice because there's nothing worse than <laughs> there's nothing worse than getting eyeshadows that don't blend together. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back with this super fluffy blending one. I'm gonna further blend everything. You don't want to blend too much because then they're just gonna get muddy. But I feel like there's like a line here on this eye compared to the other one, and there is, and it's gonna bother me. I feel like I'm working way too hard to make this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Project Beauty Set Spray Go. It's a makeup setting spray. But I'm gonna use it like a fix plus because it works. So I'm just gonna. Am I even. Like, not like missing the brush completely. What the hell? Guys, it's been quite the morning. I don't even have my coffee yet. Life is rough, alright? Okay, so I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in with Dazzle, which is this one right here. And we're going to see what happens. Okay, so I used the, a foiling technique, which probably wasn't a good idea. I don't know. I feel like it didn't really do much for me payoff-wise. So I'm going to go back in with a flat shader brush. I'm going to go in with uh, Royal Inling Nickel. Uh, Revolution BX80, which is basically just an oversized flat brush. I'm gonna go back in to dazzle and hope this works. I'm not getting super duper pigment or payoff. This is more like a metallic, and I think that's why. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my Luxie. I'm gonna blend out those edges. Add a little bit more color. <laughs> I thought I was gonna sneeze. Oh god. <laughs> okay. My boyfriend's bringing me coffee. Thank <laughs> you. Oh god, oh god, it's hot. Oh god, it's hot. Oh. <gasps> Um, it's coffee. All right, now for the rest of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and do my regular, my usual. I'm gonna go in with Tarte's Amazonian Clay and Light Medium Beige, and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so now that I have all of that on, I just put my face makeup on. I'm gonna go back in with Gala. And I'm going to use the Royal and Ling Nicole Revolution BX95, and it's kind of like a pointer brush. And I'm going to use this to put um, some of Gala underneath my eyes. I'm not going to exactly mirror everything that I did on the top. I'm just going to just do all the matte shadows that I use on the bottom. And then I'm going to go in with... Where'd it go? I'm going to go back in with the flat shader brush by uh, Bodyography. I go back in with Snazzy. And I'm really just going to smudge that in my lower lash line. I don't really like doing a lot down here because my eyes are not really, really big. And if you use too much dark stuff on the bottom, it does tend to Make your eyes look smaller. 
So I'm really just trying to smoke out everything next to my lash line and just kind of connect everything rather than leaving it bare, which is usually what I do. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Park Avenue Princess palette. I'm gonna take the highlighter in here. It's pale enough to where I think it'll work. Hoping it will. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with that pointer brush again. I'm gonna clean it off a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this shade. What does it tell me? Okay, just kidding. I'm just gonna go in with the highlight part of it. And I'm going to put this on the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna bring it down just a little. And then I'm gonna take the flat shader brush that I used by Royal and Lane Nickel. a way 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 better highlight than just I'm all about the shimmery highlight not about that matte stuff gotta take a coffee break I have this really cute mermaid mug that I oh it's right there it's like why didn't you give me that one now for the rest of the face I'm gonna go in with Luxie 512 small contouring I'm gonna go in with my Park Avenue Princess I pick up the contour shade and I am going to beat this face. Now I do have from, um, was it last month or the month before, um, the Moda Pro, it's the chisel. I don't know why I don't like it as much as this one. I guess I'm just weird. I noticed that when some people contour, they like literally fill in all of this. Am I the only one that doesn't do that? I don't know, I just feel like it's just kind of weird. <laughs> now for my favorite part. Always gonna use Ride or Die, Rodeo Drive, Ofra. <sighs> this shit brings life to me. Just gives me life. <laughs> so I'm gonna highlight with that real quick. My boyfriend thinks I am so weird because highlight makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, and this brush is the Jumbo Kabuki Fan by Crown have this thing about being able to be seen from outer space. It's fine, don't worry about it. That's it. Yeah. So now I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner and dripper, of course. And I need a new one of these so bad, but I'm gonna wing this bitch out. have issues with one of their eyes looking better than the other and it's not the eyeliner it's literally my inability to adult and figure my life out all right well that's as good as that's gonna get so now I'm gonna go in with some lashes possibly I'm gonna wear these and I got these from a photo shoot. I don't remember 
where I don't know where they got them the makeup artist but yeah I'm gonna use these um, 3d stacked lashes this is like a brand new thing of duo so yeah I'm using duo lash adhesive I don't think duo is cruelty free does anyone know I'll have to look it up, but this is the only eyelash glue that I have, and I might have to invest in other eyelash glue. So I'm gonna let this get tacky, I'm gonna put my eyelashes on, and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I am back with the lashes on, and I'm going to put some of Benefits They're Real on the bottom. the lashes a little bit and then for the last touch I'm gonna put on ColourPop's Strut. Now let's see what's up with it. I apologize if you can hear my boyfriend's music. He's streaming um as well or he's streaming for his YouTube channel <laughs> right now all right guys so this is the final look I did take my hair out of my braid and I am ready to go with this kinky mess of mine <laughs> um, so yeah everything in the box uh, it was pretty fantastic this month um, I mean I'm not gonna speak for the two items that I didn't use because they are not cruelty free, which is the Studio Makeup Finishing Powder and the MAC Cosmetics um, Eyebrow Crayon. Um, I did a little bit more research on Studio Makeup and I don't see anything about them being cruelty free, uh, but I will be gifting those to somebody in need. Um, so lastly, I do want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to hang out with me. I really appreciate it. I miss you guys so much. And what's funny is <laughs> I was going to do another video um, in between my August boxy charm and this boxy charm, but I lost my battery to my camera and I didn't get a new one until yesterday. I made sure to get a new one so I can film this video for you guys and get it up. Um, so yeah, I love you guys so much. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Do not forget to click the subscribe button. I'll also put an affiliate link, uh, not an affiliate link, excuse me, a referral link down at the bottom for BoxyCharm if you are interested in signing up. Um, I would definitely say that this is one of the more, um, uh, they're not, it's not necessarily, well it is affordable considering how much you're getting in a box, but it is the, it's worth it. I've had it for about two years and I've never been disappointed in anything that I've ever gotten from um, BoxyCharm. So yeah, make sure to click that link and get your boxy charm on because seriously it's worth every single penny i love it and um yeah until next time stay beautiful <laughs>